Hello, my name is Ken Edwards. I'm an owner and engineer with Elemento Engineering Research and Software here in Athens, Ohio, USA. And today I am conducting an experiment of water flowing through a horizontal four-foot test section of plastic tubing. I'm going to measure the pressure drop through that horizontal tubing and the flow rate through the system. So water begins in this tank and flows through a submersible pump through some clear plastic tubing to a valve and then the water enters our test section which is PVC 3 quarter inch nominal diameter which is 0 0.824 actual inside diameter, 0 0.824 inches actual inside diameter. So we'll measure the pressure at the upstream section of the four foot section. Then water flows through the plastic white tubing four feet down to the downstream manometer where we'll get a pressure reading. And then the water continues through the clear tubing and discharges freely back into the tank. So the first thing we'll do is measure the pressure in the upstream manometer followed by the downstream manometer pressure and then we'll measure the flow rate through the system. The water is flowing steadily through the system. So at our upstream manometer right here we have a measuring stick in one inch increments one, two, three, four and these are inches above the horizontal pipe that, that is our test section. So then we have water is in this clear tubing and we have an interface between water and air which is indicated by the black float um, which hopefully uh, you can see in the video. The top of the black float is at the water-air interface and it's an indication of our water pressure in the horizontal tubing. And so we have a water pressure or actually more accurately a uh, precisely a head, head, uh, a head reading of about 32.5 inches of water maybe a little more than that 32.5 32.75 it's fluctuating looks like it averages at about 32 and 5 8 inches which is 32.625 inches plus or minus about 1 8 inch so 32.5 625 inches in our upstream manometer. Now if we go to the downstream manometer, this again gives us a pressure reading at four feet downstream in our text, test section and at the water air interface indicated by the top of the black float, our water level is at about right here which is about well, it's fluctuating, but about 30 and 1 8 inch, or 30.125 inches, plus or minus about 1 8 inch. So then the water flows out of the test section through the clear tubing and then back into the tank. So our next step is to measure the flow rate through the system. And we'll do that by using a bucket that is calibrated in one quarter gallon increments, these are US gallons, the blue lines are one quarter gallons. You may also be able to read the, the uh, text on here which is one half gallon, one gallon, one and a half gallons, two gallons and so on. So that will help us use determine the volume to fill the bucket and then we'll also record using the second hand on the clock uh, the time to fill a certain volume and that way we can get the flow rate through the system. So we'll start when the second hand gets to the three. Okay, so our volume is at about one half gallon now, three quarter gallon, one gallon. Our second hand is coming around to the six, which is at the 15 second mark into our test. And our volume is now at about one and three quarter gallons, two gallons. And we're coming up on 25 seconds into our test. The volume is now two and a half gallons. And we'll take this up to three and get the time reading. Two and three quarter gallon, three gallons, and we're at 35 seconds. So we filled three gallons in 35 seconds, plus or minus 
one or two seconds on our time reading. Uh, I encourage you to watch the following video, which will use software and equations to predict the results of this experiment. Uh, that concludes our experiment. Thank you for watching.